After being tracked down outside of Los Angeles and brought back to Washington County, the mother of Cairo Jordan was escorted into court Tuesday and smiled at the camera. She's charged with killing her five-year-old son, whose body was found in a suitcase in a wooded area. At her first appearance, Dejon Anderson identified herself by a different name. I am Princess Kalifia Hatan Tupacre II, representing the entity Dejon Anderson. Anderson also requested to represent herself, telling the judge her master's degree in history will benefit her in this legal process. It's not that I can't afford a lawyer, it's that I want to do self-representation due to I understand the nature of my case and I understand that this is my life on the line. The judge denied Anderson's bond after prosecutors argued she was a flight risk and was on the run for two years. I am not a fugitive. I have been under NSA surveillance for the past eight months. And how can that qualify me as a fugitive on the run when I've also had a detail from Space Force that was following my every move. With Anderson's behavior in court, prosecutors were asked if they believe she's competent to stand trial, which the judge tentatively set for August. That is not an issue that we'll address publicly. That'll be something that will be handled in the courts, if at all. The prosecution further reserved comment, but court records show a wealth of evidence which they expect to help in the case. This includes home surveillance in the area where Cairo was found, data from nearby cell phone towers, and a confession from co-defendant Dawn Coleman, who was sentenced to 25 years in prison for her role in the five-year-old's death. Think about uh, all the facts of this case, it brings up strong emotions. So we're just very happy that she's here and that we can move forward. Um, we're confident, I'm confident uh, personally that justice will be served in this case and, and we just keep looking forward to that day. From Washington County, Alexis Matthews, WLKY News.